Hey guys, it's Jeff. I am back with another league race. This one is at France. This is a 50% league race. And as you may be able to tell from the title of the video, this is my first league race with no assists. And this has been something, this is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. And I almost did it at the beginning of the last season in this league, where our first race was Australia. And this was about... Uh, probably uh, six months ago or so, something like that, uh, or maybe eight or nine months, I, I don't know, something like that. But I thought about doing it, didn't do it, and ultimately I think what held me back was just fear of losing pace because I don't have a lot of pace, but I do have an okay amount of pace. I have enough pace to, in combination with my consistency, get some pretty decent results in the league. It's been... I think two podiums over um, something like 45 races. Uh, I've never gotten a win. I do have one fast lap. That was because I <laughs> I binned it at Imola and ended up pitting for softs really late. But the the point here is, is being that I have a little bit of pace. I don't have a ton, but I do have a little bit. I decided to go no assists, and I... I'm glad that I'm doing it, but I will not sit here and tell you that <laughs> it's all roses. And I will go ahead and tell you too that this race is a little bit rough at parts. It, I think it's there are some real positives, but I think there are also some some really rough parts. So um, so there's a bit of a trade-off here. And just to show you this, this is obviously completely on me, but I got <laughs> I'm at I'm in sector one and I got this and next lap validated by being off track. I was trying to stay out of the way of all the guys who were on hot laps and ended up ruining my the my own final chance at qualifying, which is unfortunate. But I don't know that it would have made a big difference. I qualified P twenty by quite a margin anyway, so I, I don't really think it mattered. If you look at the weather here, you can see that it's supposed to rain probably 60, 65, 70% of the way into the race. So what I'm trying to do here is get on some tires that are going to stretch me to the rain. And I thought about doing hards, but figured that the mediums should be able to get me there. And you'll see if they do. But the hope was that the mediums could get me to the rain. I could go on to intermediates or wets, to, you know, depending on what happens, but probably go on to intermediates and uh, be off to the races and hopefully get a little bit of a get a little bit of a gap built up because other guys maybe started on softs and had to pit before I did. So we'll see how that works out. But for now, we're looking at lap one and one thing. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you'll know that. We did, have, we did have safety cars on for the first race of this season, and this is the first time in a while that we had safety cars on, but after we had four safety cars in a 25-lap race at Jeddah, I turned the safety cars off, and frankly, I'm glad I did. I don't regret it for a second, but the, the practical outcome is that for this race, we do not have any safety cars, so I need to be really careful to not bin it. I need to be really careful to not run into anybody. I need to be careful to stay away from... Drivers that are maybe historically a little bit uh, crazier on track. So I I'm really just trying to stay clean, I think, especially in this first lap or two. And I'm trying to give guys a lot of space. As you may have seen, we've passed a couple incidents already. I managed to stay pretty clean. Right here, I'm <laughs> being split. I've got guys on either side of me. And oh, another thing as well. A, a problem I had in Jetta last week was that I just I had I had a... A setup that just had way too much downforce as compared to some of the other guys that were racing. Uh, they were just running these super, super uh, wings were like a lot closer to zero than mine were and just had, frankly, a lot more straight line speed than I did. I chose that setup because I realized that I was having a ton of problem just keeping it on track if I was, if I reduced the downforce. So I took the same path in this race. I think my wings were probably a little more down four seed than some of the other guys. Probably not to the degree that they were at Jetta, but still to a certain degree. So that's something that I really have to really have to account for here. Uh, you see there, I just way overshot it. I tried to be very very careful about coming onto the track to avoid really crushing anybody, really avoid an unsafe reentry, which 
happens sometimes, right? And I don't want to be the guy who does it, especially because I'm in charge of this league and it's a bit of a bad look if I'm out here doing unsafe reentries and telling other people not to do unsafe reentries. So um, something to consider if you run a league, maybe try to drive by the rules and abide by the rules. And that's certainly what I try to do. But you've seen us tumble quite a bit throughout these first two laps. And um, for the most part, I, I mean, I think it's been okay. I think I'm... I think I'm driving clean and I'm driving safe, which was my my whole goal here. I knew that I wasn't going to win this race. Okay, uh, there was no question in my mind that I was that I was not going to win this race. All I could do is give it my best shot and get the best result that I could, and that's the goal here. I, like I said, I'm just I'm not going to come out here and have a ton of pace. Maybe uh, once I practice running no assists for couple years I'll be competitive on that level but right now I'm not that guy and I'm not anywhere close to being that guy for instance I don't know if you actually looked at the times that that we had in qualifying but I think I was um, almost two full seconds off the guy in front of me I qualified p20 and that was uh, like a 135 something like that I believe the car in front of me had a 133 something, maybe a 130, low 133. So I'm just not competitive right now in terms of pace. And hopefully I'm getting there, but for the moment it's not there. And the goal, knowing that that's the case, is just to maximize my results, keeping in mind the fact that I don't have a lot of pace. Yeah, I almost lost it right there. And I, I lost it on at this part of the track a lot during practice, getting ready for this race. So... <laughs> tried to avoid it during the race. Barely avoid Reckless here. It's kind of funny that his name is Reckless, and that was uh, that was a, a sort of dangerous move. But fast forward another lap here, and you see him really coming up on me and getting uh, getting a pretty good approach at me, uh, getting better lines through that, that double, what would you call that, an S? I guess it's an S. And you see him breeze by me as he gets a better exit, also probably is running lower downforce, and... I'm no match whatsoever for him, and you see him fly by. But the good news here is that I was able to stick with him, which I think is which I think is really encouraging. And you, of course, can watch it here, but I felt like I was doing really well at staying with him. And part of that was just because he was showing me his line, right? He did a little bit of a block on me there. Um, I, Nothing penalty worthy, I don't think, but I certainly had to back off a little bit and try to stay away from him. But I do think I was following his line a little bit, which, of course, is going to give you a bit of an advantage. I think he has racing line on, so I'm I'm sort of benefiting from his racing line assist being on, and just trying not to make a mistake and and get myself in more trouble than I already was. But I managed to stay with him now for almost half a lap, I would say. Unfortunately, he is building up a bit of a gap on me, and we are quickly coming up in the DRS zone, and you can see him getting over nine-tenths of a second lead, and he is over a second. So I'm out of DRS, took half a lap, but frankly, I am, I'm okay with that. Fast forward again here, lap 12, and you start to see a little bit of rain. I think that's what I'm showing you, isn't it? No, this is something else. This is uh, Alex coming up behind me, and I get a dog water um, approach and just uh, just didn't look very good. All out of sorts. Alex gets by me with ease. Hurts hurts to see because I, I was really competitive with him in a past life. Not today, but in a past life. And Quoth Raven here, just a little bit a little bit aggressive with that move. I mean, I don't know if it was if I would strictly say it was if it was a bad move, but he was a little bit aggressive. He probably could have waited for a straight there. But all's well that ends well. I don't think either one of us got damaged. And you do start to see the rain now. Lap 17 coming up here. Bow 95 is behind me. I just go way deep there and just gave him the place. I was off track. Didn't want to didn't want to barge back onto the track in a dangerous way. But you're now starting to see I wouldn't say the wheels coming off, but we're we're getting to the point where the wheels are are maybe sort of coming off. You see me going to the pits here for the intermediates, and um, hopefully I can get a good turn in here and and maximize this opportunity. I do get the optimal turn in, 2.3 second pit stop, 
and we come out of the pits. But here is where it just all gets ripped to shreds. I will tell you right now, I could not see a thing. I had no idea where I was aiming after I, I, after I braked. I just, I turned in towards the apex, could not see a thing. There's a combination, I think, of the cockpit view, no racing line, and also just the fact that the track is soaking wet and looks glassy. I had no idea where I was going. And that continued for a couple laps. It actually seemed to get quite a bit better once there was a lot of rain on the track. But right here at the beginning of the stint where the track just looks super glassy, I had no idea where I was going. And you can see how, how uncertain I am when I'm coming into these corners. It's just brutal. I mean, I, I had no idea where I was going. Lost a ton of time very quickly. Went way deep on the last turn there. My teammate Hal, I let him go by me. I did not want to cause an issue there. Did not want to run into him. Um, but he gets by me pretty easily, which you would sort of expect. He's much faster than I am. He's a better driver than I am. So uh, I was pretty ready for it. You see the leader lap me there. And now the second place guy laps me. And I thought it was the third place guy, but it was actually this uh, this AI, Reckless XV's AI. And I let him by, unfortunately, too. Thinking I'm about to catch up with him, I finally get my real first spin of the day. I had quite a few lockups, quite a few just went too deep on braking, but that was my first real spin. And it's unfortunate that I had it, but it, at this point, I don't know that it really affected my race, so it's fine. Uh, you see me a lock up here. This is just, <clears throat> just showing you what was happening at this point. I got a three-second penalty there. I, I was sliding all over the place. You see the temperatures. This is lap 26, last lap of the race for me since I've been lapped. I go off track again. Bit of a lockup, bit of a slide, I think. If you look at my steering wheel, you can see the temperatures on the tires are around 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which is too cold, frankly. And at this point in the race, I've lost a ton of time. I've had a ton of lockups. I've had a ton of slides. I am um, just trying to survive and get to the end at this point. Not going very fast. The tires feel terrible. I've completely lost my ability to control the, the car. So, and there's this pile up I don't know what this is interesting stuff though but I think for the future <clears throat> I'm going to practice more in the rain I'm going to try to get more comfortable with breaking points in the rain specifically um, I'm just going to keep practicing try to get better and hopefully this is the worst I ever do with no assists in a league race we'll see